Displaying an ad is actually a service you offer to the provider of that said ad. In exchange, you get a small share of money for every ad you've shown to your user. So before we even think about adding ads to our game, we need a publish or publishable project, and also a ad provider. Now it turns out that Unity themselves are ad provider, and they also provide us with code that actually fetches the ads from their own server automatically. All we really need to do on our side is decide when is the appropriate time to show it, and if we should reward our player for actually watching the whole thing. So we basically need two functions, one to call the ad and another one to handle the result of that said ad. Has it been skipped? Did the user watch the whole thing? Or has it even started? With these two simple functions, we should be able to monetize our user and reward him for watching an ad, which will in return reward the developer himself. Okay, so we've got Unity open right here. We are going to link our very Unity session over here with the provider. That is actually Unity ads. So in order to do that, it is really, really simple. So you go under Window, and you go under Services. Now those are services that Unity provides, and all you'll need to do is actually sign up with your Unity ID. This is the same exact ID you use when you log in to your Unity account. So right here, as you can tell, I'm under my real name account here. And then, you are going to select your organization. Is it you or is it your company? Let's put that under the company. We are going to hit Create, and it will then take us to this services section where you can actually use the ads, the analytics, the cloud build. Now by toggling this on, you actually imported some pieces of code to your Unity engine namespace. And we'll talk more about it in a little bit. But then you choose if you'd like to be on iOS and Android. I'm going to say yes. And I'm also going to enable test mode, which is um, pretty much just used when you're in the development. So you don't actually have real ads running inside of your Unity engine. So. Once we're done with that, we are actually going to close this off and decide where exactly we'd like to have our ad. Now I'm going to show you my little game really quickly. So I've got my preloader running. This is my uh, start. And then inside of here, I have some kind of hub. I click here, I got the research, I got the play button game. But I've also got this share center over here, which is where I plan to have a link to the Facebook page, to the YouTube, all that kind of stuff. But I also plan on having a button that is going to request an ad and actually play it in front of the player. And now if that player makes it all the way to the end, I am going to reward him with some gems or token or whatever your in-game currency may be. Now this is something that uh, a lot of games do these days, but of course you can go with an old model that is pretty much just playing an ad when the game is run or playing an ad in between game sessions. Now, of course, you're the only person that can choose that, so go ahead and find the exact place where you want your ad to be run. In my case, I'd like it to be run on a button, so it's going to be some kind of request. Right, I've got my button over here. Actually, I am going to create a button here, so UI button, and this is going to be request and add button, so request add, like so. Might make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. Okay, now the code we gotta write is really simple code. Now you could be putting this inside of a ad manager, but I'll just put it in a simple script that I call play ad. And I'll leave it on my button. Okay, so let's open up the Mono Develop right now. The first thing we need to do is actually import the namespace. So to do that, go up here, Unity Engine dot advertisement. And I'm going to declare a public function that I'll be calling from my button. So public void show ad. Now, like I said before, if you actually like to have this ad running whenever you open up the scene, you could be running the exact same code inside a private void update. I mean, not update, <laughs> a start actually. Don't put that in an update ever. Okay, so when my button is clicked, then I will show an ad. Now, if you really don't want to complicate things too much, you can simply type in advertisement.show. Simple as that. You could, you could actually run with this and nothing else. Let me just show you what it does. So I'm going to go on my button, actually put my button inside of it, my onclick event, choose the function I just made. Where is it? It's called show ad. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll put my script on the text. So that's a little bit messy, but I will drag and drop my text in here, then choose from my script play add 
the function show add. Right, let me just show you real quick what it gives us. So I am going to hit play, go to my share center, click on request add, and this is what pretty much is run. So here would be your add unit, things seems to be working. Now you need to understand that whenever you click on that button, you're actually making a call to the, the ad server. So they're the one that give you the ad, so you gotta be able to contact them while you're playing the game. Because they will choose which ad they'll display, so maybe Clash of Clan or another game that is currently being played. And whenever you click on that request ad button, it might actually crash for you because you don't have internet. Like right now, I've disabled my internet and I'm not able to play an ad, so I'm not able to get a reward and nothing is actually showing up. And um, in order to fix that, you gotta be putting some condition to make sure that it does not crash. And also, there is a bug with an older version of Unity, so make sure you update your Unity to the latest version so you don't get some messy crashes. So, before we actually show the ad, let's add in co a condition first. We are going to say if advertisement dot is ready, then we are going to show it. Now this is pretty much the simplest way you can actually play an ad, but you can't really tell if the player actually waited until the ad was finished, or he skipped it, or he did not even manage to actually show the ad. So you gotta be creating another function down here. That will pretty much handle the result, so we'll call it private void handle add result, and it takes in parameter a show result enum, which is something you get now that you've uh, you've using you're actually using the uh, Unity engine advertisement namespace. So we are going to create our function inside of here. We'll say switch, we'll make a switch case, and we'll say switch result. Open it up, and if the result is finished, so if case.showResult finish, let's go ahead and reward our player. So debug.log, and we'll say uh, player gains plus five gems. Now, of course, uh, depending on whatever you're trying to do with your ad, you're going to be putting your own function in here. So maybe uh, level up the player or something of the sort. Now, if the case is the show result was skipped, then you know that the player has skipped the ad. So debug.log, player did not fully watch the ad. Then we break this and finally the last case, show result is actually failed. So that would mean that the player, oops, player failed to launch the ad. And we can put a little question mark and just say internet. Maybe he was not connected to internet. Something of the sort. And that is pretty much how you handle results. So we need to make this a callback of the advertisement.show function which is handled right here, so in the third overload. Now, as you can tell over here, it takes in something else. It actually takes in a string called zone ID, and I'll show you all about that in a moment. We'll just put this on nothing for now, and we will add a new show option object, and inside of that show option, there is the result callback that we'll set to handle add result. Whoops, not handle action. Let me just try it out again. And it'll add result, which is pretty much the same name as this. So just make sure they match. So whenever we're done watching the ad, it is actually going to call the result callback. So this function with the show result parameter. Okay, now as for the string ID, you will need to actually choose that on your Unity ad account. So you are going to go on Google and type in Unity Ads, that's the first thing you need to do. Let me just show you my screen. Over here on Google, Unity Ads, and you are going to choose the first one. And now if you go under your platform, in my case Android Google Play, but it is the same exact thing in both right now. If you go under Android Google Play, you will see Integration ID, and that is exactly the Zone ID, that's what we want. So we've got the choice. Do we want to play a simple video or a rewarded video? And those are pretty much just presets that Unity Ads made for us. You can make your own by clicking on Add New Placement. So we gotta be choosing, do we want this kind of setup, this kind of configuration, or this kind of configuration? In the first one, you're allowed to skip after five seconds. It does not mute the audio, and it is enabled by default. In the second one, you're not allowed to skip, 
it does not mute the audio and it is enabled. Now if you put this as a default then uh, whenever you hit you say advertisement.show with no option in it it's actually choosing the default one which is in this case the rewarded video. Now we're going to leave that option here and we're actually going to swap that back to default. And say we want to play a video that actually rewards our player, like I said before, we need him to actually watch the whole thing. And to do that, we will take the rewarded video string and put it right in here. Now it pretty much just says, okay, so you're going to play me an ad, but you're going to be using these very settings, so the one on this line here. And that is pretty much all you need to know about Unity Ads. So you call it using the advertisement.show, and once this show is done, then you're pretty much return with a function that has a show result and then you can do a switch case on the result of that show result. Alright so once you're done implementing this you can go back under services then ads and then make sure that you remove the enable test mode so whenever you actually well give out your app or you publish it people don't get the blue window they actually get in real ad. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this or you learned something, please leave me a like, really appreciate that. If you have any question or comment, you can also leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Also, remember you can watch your earnings through the Unity Ad dashboard. Alright guys, so thanks a lot for watching again and I'll be seeing you in the next episode.